I was not around at these premises by the time I was at home. On the premises, only the wife plus my two small sons. In addition to that, a male defenseless domestic worker. They were they were almost four in a number. Then the, the next morning around past five, the wife called me telephonically, informing me about what happened. Then he explained everything. Later, I indicated to her that I was, I was to drive from home coming to town so that we can pursue the case. Upon my arrival, I took the lady we went to the, to the police station. We did all what we were able to do in order to get the information. Lucky, eventually, we were able to see the regional commander in act. Then we explained our concern. As a result, he managed also to call one of the officers who were in charge that last night. So basically, I would like to say that I was embarrassed by the behaviors of the police. Actually, so far, they are visit at these premises that I would like to challenge in its entirety. I believe that they have exceeded the scope of their duties in particular in terms of the Criminal Procedure Act, Section 26 and 27, were violated. Upon their arrival, due to the information that I was provided, they failed even to comply with the proviso that states that an audible demand for admission ought to be advanced. I regard their demand at that time is not audible, but it was unreasonable because it was just full of noise surrounding the premises itself, knocking all over, forcing the, the, the inhabitants just to open the door. Later, one of the police officers just took the gun and opened the window forcibly by the barrel. Upon opening, he fired tear gas inside the window through the window to cause havoc, a tremendous disorder at that time. Everybody got frustrated. Eventually, they were able, the inhabitants, or my wife was able to open the door. Then upon asking the police as to what was the papers, as to what was the papers of their need to enter the premises, they failed to indicate what was the purpose. All what they could say was, if you want the, 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 the reason why, the next, the next day you go to the police station, you will find the, we will tell you the, inform, the, the purpose of coming here. But at the same time in the discussion, actually so far they indicated that they were directed at this house without indicating for what reason were they directed at this house. So, taking into account this whole surrounding circumstances as far as what happened, I regard the actions of the police at that time and the date to be a premeditated assassination plot. They were targeting at me as the leader of the UDP, nothing else. For their failure to disclose the papers for their need to enter the premises, they were looking for me as a person in order to assassinate, 
to destroy the functionality of the UDP in the Caprivi. But I would like to, to warn them, under the, under the leadership of the Swapo government, that the Swapo government should stop plotting against the leaders of the UDP. Our intention, we want dialogue over the issue of the Caprivi. All what we want is dialogue over the issue of the Caprivi, constructive talks, instead of plotting against each other. They will get nothing out of killing the leaders of the UDP. So my main concern now, actually so far, is our security. We are now living in fear. We shall be living in fear. Because the police that we were expecting to protect us are them who have been conspired or been pushed around left and right in order to destroy us. So I say their presence here was nothing else but an assassination plot. They wanted to kill me being the leader of the UDP. But I say I will never and never leave or put aside my, my political jacket being the leader of the UDP. I'm free to face any challenge as far as the issue of the Caprivi is concerned. This is nothing else but it's just a political strategy by the Swapolite government. Through their security machineries, just to target and assassinate the local leadership of the UDP. For them to know, Muyongo is not alone. We are even ready to take over from Muyongo. Should Muyongo happens to fail in any in anywhere either by illness, by whatever, I'm ready to take over the leadership of the UDP and to pursue the case of the, the Caprivi up to the end. What we want is an, a reasonable answer to the issue of the Caprivi. They ought to put aside all the tactics of assassination. So, Mr. Melissa, do you, do you still remember uh, the names of um, the, 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 the cop, cops who visited your house here? Actually, so far, upon, uh, upon pursuing the case at the police station, we were informed by other police officers that among them was Constable Rifasi. Even Amwama was also a member of the patrolling team that night. These are the two identities that I can remember quite well upon gathering information at the police station. Yes, yes. And the number, how many in the group? Actually, so far, they did not reveal to us how many were they. But approximately, their vehicle convoy was approximately above five. And they were fully armed. Mm. 